Hey guys, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 1, Translating Algebraic Expressions. So algebraic expressions are expressions like x plus 3 or 2x plus 7. They're basically expressions in mathematics that have variables in them. And there are keywords in the English language that tell us what type of operators we should be using. So, let's take a look at some of those key words. For addition, we have words like sum or more than or increased by total plus all together. All of those words are indicators that you should be adding together. So a number more than five would be addition and so on. For subtraction, words like difference, less than, subtracted from, minus or decreased by are words that indicate subtraction. Watch out for phrases like less than and subtracted from. Those are what we like to call turnaround phrases, which we'll talk about momentarily. For multiplication, words like times, product, twice, double, triple, that's like multiplying by two, triple, multiplying by three. We did quadruple the other day. <clears throat> of means multiply, per, $5 per shirt. That's multiplication as well. And there's not too many words for division, but you do have divided by. Quotient means division. To half something means to divide by two. To third something divide by three. Also quarter, quarter of something is divide by four. These are all words that indicate division. So remember how I said to watch out for these two, less than and subtracted from in subtraction? Well, those are called turnaround phrases. So let's look and see what that means. Phrases like less than and subtracted from indicate that you need to reverse the order. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's say you have $20 and I have five less than you. Less than is indicating that we are subtracting, but I don't have five minus $20. I have 20 minus $5. So I have five less than you, five, less than you, which is 20, because you have $20. I have five less than you, which it's not five minus 20, but it is 20 minus five. And the same thing for subtracted from. If it was five subtracted from 20, it's not five minus 20. Five subtracted from 20 is 20 minus five. So those are called turnaround phrases, and you want to watch for those when you see them. So now we're going to go through the examples, and we're going to highlight the key phrases. So 5 more than a number would be 5 plus x. The quotient of a number and negative 2, your key phrase is quotient, and that would be the quotient of a number and negative 2 would be x divided by negative 2 twice a number, twice a number, that's twice signalizes multiplying by two. So a number multiplied by two or twice a number, we're gonna write that as two X instead of two times X. Two X is fancier. A number decreased by seven. So a number, let's call that X, decreased by seven. A number decreased by 7. And notice how for all our a numbers, we're going to use the variable x. But you can use any variable you'd like. So let's take a look at the product, the product of a number and 12. So a number and 12 with a product, that's multiplication, of a number and 12. So 12 times x, or 12x. For number 6, we have 3. Oh. We have three subtracted from a number. So three subtracted from a number. This is a turnaround phrase. So this is a turn, turnaround. So three is being subtracted from the number. So it's gonna be X take away three. There's a turnaround phrase. In number seven, we have earning $15, $15 per hour. And we don't know the hours, so 15 times x, where x is going to represent our hours, per is multiplication. 
For number eight, we have five less than the cost of the ticket. So we'll call it the cost of the ticket X and it's five less than the cost of the ticket. So is it five minus X or X minus five? Well, less than is a turnaround phrase. So X minus five, five less than the cost of the ticket. So I'd like you to try number nine, number 10, and number 11. Pause the video and try those now. Okay, that now that you've tried nine, 10, and 11, the sum of a number and 24, that's X plus 24, where our phrase that we're looking at is sum. 50 markers divided among several students, divided among would indicate that the 50 is being divided by the several students. Since we don't know how many students, we call that X, 50 divided by X. And then two fifths of a number, two fifths of a number or two fifths multiplied by X. Now we can look at 12, half a number minus 19. So notice how it says half a number, which means it's the number, which is X, is being divided by two, so half of the number, and then that's gonna subtract with 19. Half a number, or X divided by two, minus 19. One half X is exactly the same is the same as X over two, because one times X makes X. One half X and X over two mean the same thing. So you could have written one half X minus 19 or half the number minus 19. These are the same thing. For 13, you're looking at 11 less than the product of four and, the product of a number, sorry, and negative four. So we have a turnaround phrase, which is subtraction, and somebody is subtracting with somebody else. So 11 is one of the things subtracting, and the product of a number and negative four is the other thing subtracting. So the product of a number and negative four is negative four X. That's just this blue phrase right here, okay? And negative 4x is subtracting with 11. 11 minus, or 11 with subtraction of negative 4x. But since less than is a turnaround phrase, this one's gonna go first, and this one's gonna go second. So we have negative 4x minus 11. 11 less than, so 11 less than, that's minus 11 with this number. So negative 4x minus 11. Now I'd like you to try your best on 14, 15, and 16. Pause the video now, and then I'll give answers. All right, so I have placed the answers here for 14, 15, and 16, and tried to highlight the different chunks as I read them to help me identify which pieces belong to which. So, if you have any questions, Mark them now in your notes that you can ask in class or at the end of this video. For 17 through 24, what you'll be doing is writing your own expression in words. So you'll use the words and go backwards. I'd like you to try the odd problems, pause the video and try them now. And use a number for the variable. Instead of saying whatever, N, say a number. Now that you've tried the odd problems, I'd like you to make sure that you take note of any questions that you have. Ask them either at the end of this video and or in class. Actually, you could do both. And thanks for watching Unit 2, Lesson 1, Translating Algebraic Expressions.